we are going to read the book today called You Can Do It, Curious George by Margaret and H.A. Rays. Now, we read a book already this year about Curious George. We read two, actually. Curious George Makes Pancakes and Curious George's Dinosaur Discovery. So this is another Curious George. And this book is all about something called perseverance. Can you say perseverance with me? Perseverance. That's a big word, isn't it? Perseverance means doing your best and not giving up when something gets hard or doesn't work or doesn't go your way. It means you keep trying until you get it right. So we're going to see how Curious George does that in this book. And I have a feeling it's going to have something to do with the kite. So let's dive in, okay? This is George. He was a good little monkey and always very curious. George loved going to the museum with his friend. While they were visiting the museum, they saw a sign. The sign said that the museum had won a prize. People voted this museum as their favorite. They said this museum was the best. When George saw the sign, he started to think, what could he do best? Well, he decided to find out. You can do it, George, said the man with the yellow hat. George went back home. He was good at drawing dinosaurs. Maybe he could draw the best dinosaur picture ever. George decided that he liked to draw, but he wanted to try something different. He climbed out the window to look for ideas. Soon, George came to a restaurant. That gave him a great idea. George loved spaghetti. He decided he would make the best spaghetti ever. You can do it, George. Look at all that spaghetti. George thought it tasted he great. tasted more and more of it and made a big mess. And there's this big mess. So George isn't great at making spaghetti. So we're going to hope George has perseverance and he's not going to let this get him down. He's going to keep trying to find what he's best at. Then the chef came in. Get out, he shouted, out of my kitchen. George was going to have to find something else he did best. George needed another idea. He got on a bus to think, and the bus took him to a ski slope. That gave George an idea. He grabbed the biggest sled he could find. Maybe he could sled down the hill faster than anyone ever had before. You can do it, George. And there's George sledding down the hill. At first, sledding was fun. Then, George started to go too fast. Look out, George! George was going to have to find something else he did best. Why well, wasn't sledding something he did best? Look what happened. Yeah, he knocked right into the man who was skiing. So, so far, our George tried drawing a dinosaur. He tried making the best spaghetti ever. He tried being the fastest sledder. So let's see what he tries now. George needed another idea. So, so far, George is not giving up. He still has perseverance. Then he remembered something he did better than anyone else. He rushed back home. He went and got out his kite. He was going to be the best kite flyer ever. George got his kite to go higher and higher. You can do it, George. Then the kite lifted George right off the ground. Look out below. This reminds me of the book that we read last week called Someone Bigger. George landed in a tree in the forest. His kite flew away without him. George was going to have to find something else he did best. So his kite idea didn't work too well. Just then, George spotted smoke. Oh no, it was a forest fire. And you can see running away from the smoke is lots of animals. George wanted to warn everybody about the fire. He raced to town and found the fire station. The firefighters quickly put out the fire. Phew, that was a close one. By now, the sun was setting. It was too late for George to figure out what he did best. 
So, so far, he tried drawing dinosaurs. Was he the best at that? He tried making the best spaghetti. Was he the best at that? He tried being the fastest sledder. Was he the best at that? No. He tried being the highest kite flyer. Was he the best at that? Nope. So, so far, he hasn't found it. Oh, my pages are stuck. George's friend met him back at the museum. The director had heard that George had warned everyone about the forest fire. She thought that that was the best thing anyone had done in a long time. George did it. Hooray! He found out what he can do best. He's the best helper. George got a very special prize that day. And you can see George wearing his medal. So we found out that when George was trying to be the best at all of these different things, was he the best? No, but we found out he was the best when he wasn't trying at all. And what was he the best at in the end? Being the best helper. So I want you to think of all the things that you can do best and all the ways that you can be your best self. Until next time, bye.